Hey y'all, Kitchen Trap Queen back with another tutorial. This is mustard fried catfish with a homemade tartar sauce. If you're like me and you hate bottled tartar sauces, this recipe is for you. Let's get started. Okay, so of course we're gonna start off with our tartar sauce. Anytime you make a sauce, y'all, do that first so that those flavors get a chance to uh, blend and mesh well in the fridge. So this tartar sauce is very comparable to a restaurant tartar sauce. If you're like me, I hate bottled tartar sauces y'all i've tried all of them and i hate all of them i love the taste of restaurant style um tartar sauce so this is very similar to a restaurant style tartar sauce it's very easy it's like four ingredients um mayonnaise pickles um dill and some minced onion go ahead and mix those together and place them in the fridge so now we're gonna put together our seasoned fish fry. In this first bowl, I have cornmeal, flour, paprika. This bowl, I have some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and dried mustard. And in this bowl, I have onion powder, garlic, uh, I'm sorry, uh, ginger, thyme, oregano, basil, and some Old Bay. Um, it is a lot of ingredients, but you don't have to worry about seasoning your meat at all. I've tried this uh, breading with chicken and shrimp, and both times I didn't even have to season the meat. So go ahead and put these together so that we can get started on our fish. All right, so here I have a pound of catfish nuggets. I'm going to add two tablespoons of mustard to my fish, and I'm going to coat it, and we're gonna dip these in our fish fry. Um, my mom has been using mustard to fry fish since I was little. Um, I know there's a craze going around, around with mustard fried stuff like mustard fried chicken mustard fried shrimp um my mama has been doing this for centuries not centuries but years yeah years <laughs> Um, and it, it, it's good and it works. So after you have coated your fish with the mustard, go ahead and bread your fish. And we are going to let the fish sit for about 10 minutes so that it looks like this after it has been adhered to the batter. And I actually did double uh, bread those. And then y'all, here is a, a, a trick to sing when your oil is ready to fry just take a wooden spoon or a spatula and just place it in your oil and if you see bubbles start to form around it it's time for your fish to go into the oil um and then once you put your fish in the oil go ahead and fry those up until they're brown It doesn't take fish that long to fry. I wanna say maybe about five to 10 minutes. It depends on how uh, you like your fish fried. Some people like their fish fried hard. Um, so once you have your fish fried to your liking, go ahead and drain it on a wire rack. And that's it, y'all. Go ahead and plate it and dip it in that good old tartar sauce. You will not be disappointed, guys. All right, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video.